Am I the asshole? Forgetting a car tow just a few minutes after it parked in my mom's parking spot? I live with my parents in a small neighborhood with a few condos attached to the row I'm in. We rent out two spots for both of our vehicles. One day, as my dad was at work and mom was out grocery shopping, I saw a guy parking his car in our spot. I waited a bit, maybe he was just making a one minute pit stop, but he was still away after about five minutes, and there were a few visitor parking spots available, so I was baffled why he decided to steal ours. I decided to call for a tow truck and then they came about 3-4 minutes later I live near a tow truck lot. As the tow truck driver was hooking the car up, the guy came out and saw it. He immediately got into an argument with the tow truck driver and was saying he was only like, 10 minutes. My mom got home about half an hour later, and I forgot to mention to her what happened, but 10 minutes after she returned, the guy that stole our spot came to our house and argued with me and mom, saying he was only gonna be there for 5 more minutes. It got heated, but he eventually walked away, still pissed off. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole you couldn't know if he was going to be 5 minutes or 5 hours. It wasn't his spot, and he had no right to park there for any length of time. Not the asshole. It's always only been 10 minutes and they were going to move it in 5 minutes. That's up there with the check being in the mail for most overplayed lies on the planet. There were alternative visitor spots available, he chose to park in a reserved one which even if the visitor spots were all filled, he shouldn't park in a reserved spot. If you chose to park where your parking can result in you getting ticketed and or towed, you have only yourself to blame for it. Not the asshole. Obviously they knew it was designated parking that belonged to your household or else they wouldn't have come to your door. Not the asshole. Assuming the spot was clearly marked as reserved, whoever parks there without permission does so at their own risk. Not the asshole. Your parent pay for those spots. They are presumably clearly marked. Why should your parents park elsewhere just to accommodate some entitled idiot? And why should you have to sit around with a timer deciding how long he gets to park there before you are allowed to enforce the clearly posted rules? It's your property, you have every right to enforce your interest in it. Not the asshole. Don't park in other people's parking spots. Plain and simple. Natar. The guy who parked in your spot was T.A. How could you know how long he was gonna be there? Aren't there visitor spots? Not the asshole I guarantee you he was lying through his teeth about only planning to be there 5 minutes, but even if he wasn't, that spot wasn't available for him to use he couldn't park on the sidewalk or on someone's lawn for 5 minutes, and this is no different. Not the asshole if he knew what condo to come to in order to complain, he knew which one to come ask permission to use the spot for a short time. As someone else mentioned, he faffo. Not the asshole. Don't park in other people's spot, 10 minutes or not. You pay for the spot, he doesn't. Play stupid games win stupid prizes. Not the asshole. You pay for the spot. What if your mom came home sooner and had to run in and use the bathroom? Nope. This was not an open parking spot for him to take. This guy comes to the house again be like we pay for the spot. Say it as loud and as many times as you need to for him. It's not cool taking some else's spot. Not the asshole. The guy was dumb for parking thur. Not the asshole he brought this on himself. The effort he spent justifying how long he parked should have been been invested in securing a visitor spot. He needs to stop blaming others the tow truck driver, you your mum. You did nothing wrong. Best to you. Not the asshole. The spot doesn't belong to them, so they got towed. And they'll get towed the next time, and the time after that. Rando not saying a long only five me new tes whe you tow me off a pr op her te. Don't worry, the towing company will change you only, like $500 to get your car back. Not the asshole it's your spot. Your parents pay for those spots. It's not open parking season. Not the asshole. 
Doesn't sound like there was a be back in 10 minutes sign on the dash, even. Not the asshole. And if you watch Tow Trucker on YouTube you'll see how many people were just gonna be 10 minutes. Not the asshole. He faffo. Not the asshole he broke the rules, and learned his lesson. What if there was an emergency and your parents needed to be able to park in their spot urgently, and his car was there even if it had just been there for 10 minutes? Rules are rules. He gambled and lost. The white EAESHR bat takes. If I pay for that spot and we pay dumb money for our spot, it's my dang spot. Stay TF out of it. You wouldn't be allowed to just loiter on my covered patio you didn't pay for, even if it was convenient for you. Maybe in a better world we could be more patient. As it is, I work several hours to afford my parking spot each month. Actually I work more than a day, factoring taxes. GTFO. Assign parking means you're paying for that parking spot as part of your lease or mortgage. Definitely not the asshole. Not the asshole. Your parents pay for that spot and he doesn't. Like you said there was visitor parks available. Not the asshole. The last time someone parked across my driveway, I told him he'd have to move. He gave me the old, I'll just be five minutes. So I answered him with, who do you think will be faster, you or the tow truck? He moved. You were kind to wait and you just know it would have been a lot longer than five more minutes. Not the asshole. Only ten minutes is an admission of guilt. Not the asshole maybe he'll use the visitor's spot like he's supposed to next time. Not the asshole. You even waited to see whether it was a quick stop. He came out when he knew he was being towed, and he says he was only going to be another five minutes. Even if that's true however long you waited, you could always think but what if he's only going to be another 5 minutes? He's one of those people who goes through life doing whatever he likes, being completely inconsiderate, and then getting angry when called out. ITT lots of people who think they're entitled to park wherever they want as long as it's for 5 minutes or less. WTF? Not the asshole. I would have gave him maybe 10 minutes before I would call, but that's just because I'm too nice. Nothing wrong with even calling immediately. It's not his spot and it's not his call to decide whether 15 minutes will or will not inconvenience or block the right flowner of the spot. Not the asshole. How long he intended to be there is irrelevant if you don't know he didn't leave a note did he? Not the asshole though I am curious how the guy knew who called the tow truck on him. Not the asshole, as someone who has also rented places with limited parking. I get it. We pay for those spots, and I'm tired of the it was only 10 minutes. You're not supposed to park there, you should be there 0 minutes and you know it, stop giving the tow truck driver a hard time for doing their job. If I just got home from working a 12 hour shift, I'm not going to wait 10 minutes on you to get out of my spot that I paid for as part of my rent.